Good afternoon, Warriors! Back with another episode of Vega Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. How are you guys doing today? I wanted to kind of get one done. I uh, got a little break here for about 10 minutes or so. And I wanted to kind of give you guys uh, some thoughts and ideas. I moved my thing over a little bit here. Hope you guys are on your plan. Hope you guys are doing well with everything. And hope that you're having going through conquest and making conquests and conquesting other things and especially yourself. Do that first and everything else will fall into place as well. All right, so thank you for our comments. Once again, I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, different shout outs in the descriptions like I try to do and also try to recognize uh, ideas and things that, uh, that you guys have been sharing with us. Thank you for donations and the likes and the comments and things like that and I appreciate that a great deal. I feel blessed, I think we're at 20, 100, almost close to 21 subscribers and growing all the time, so it's great to hear. All right, so I'm going to do one uh, today and talk a little bit in this episode about a uh, comment and a couple of observations made. And forgive me for this one because I don't know Chinese and I believe this is Chinese. So my, well, I'll just say my Chinese friend, um, who's one of our viewers, uh, indicated and had a question about um, when energy accumulates and occurs how can you go without being detected how can you stop it now it's a very interesting question so we're going to talk about this so you have energy that's accumulating and so this is the key to looking at this it's always going to accumulate if we talk about uh once again i always try to refer to uh keller's uh fountain of youth book and it talks about the chakras and the energies that's flowing through that so if you do those exercises if you exercise at all, you're gonna hit some of the chakras uh, just by, without even knowing it. And we do that all the time. It's just that as years go on, we don't exercise as much. And so what ends up happening is we don't have as much activity. And so the chakras slow down. Now I happen to be doing the exercises since 1998. And so I've kind of kept a little bit of my energy as time has gone through, but I did not keep the full amount. Uh, and I suffered a lot because of that. Uh, until I realized the sixth right that they call the rights in the book uh, is really celibacy and retention. And once I figure that out and what they were really talking about is trying to transmute that energy, uh, then I became a lot stronger and I feel tremendous right now. Uh, you know, even after a long week, work week, I still feel tremendous and uh, you know, I can just kind of keep going. I need maybe in a couple hours of sleep and I get about three, four hours of sleep and then I'm ready to go. So uh, it's really a great type of thing to have and use as people are always commenting. And, and once again, we had a bunch of great comments this week I have to get to, but talking about how energy is great. And we have a few people who um, really, they haven't been convinced yet, which is understandable. It took me 47 years. And so there's a lot that you can see that, you know, you may not be, you may not think it's accurate. You may think it's just kind of a lot of phony baloney. And that's your opinion. But, and that's, you're right. And so until you prove it to yourself, I think that's the key. But I would encourage you, everyone out there who is not doing this on a regular basis, try it. Try it and see. You know, you have nothing to lose. You know, just go with refraining from releasing for, a, uh, you know, maybe 60 days and just see what happens. And you'll see tremendous benefits. No matter how old you are, you'll see those benefits. Now, getting to my uh, question from my Chinese friend here. So when energy will accumulate it is there no doubt about it even if you release every minute of the day you're still going to have some energy or else you would be dead so we know that energy is going to accumulate so warriors have a tremendous amount of energy i think the reason we're talking about this uh, means god has given you a lot of energy god has given you a lot of things to uh, you know be blessed with and a lot of it is going to be a sexual drive energy type of thing now, how you use this is always the question. And as we talk about this, it's important to realize that you are you know, God's temple. God has given you that body to work with. God has given you that energy to focus on. So the key is going to be how can you use that to you know, uh, fulfill God's purpose and help mankind, help your fellow man uh, to accomplish things, provide for your family, provide for your community, protect your, your community, and do those things that uh, males should be doing and should have been doing you know, for hundreds of years here. And sometimes we kind of lost track of what males should be doing. Uh, so we talk about this and we're gonna say, okay, energy accumulates. So let's look, for example, at a person who, who uh, you know, refrains for a long period of time. In my case, I'm almost a thousand days. So 
there is a possibility, if you're not really using this energy, is to go ahead and have two things happen. One, you're going to have a total frustration and meltdown because this energy is backing up and you have no way to kind of move it forward and do anything with it. That's usually the case when you're younger. In my case, that was the case when I was younger because I had no idea about transmuting energy. I had no idea what to do. Uh, I had no idea of how to take some breathing, you know, like for instance, holding one finger against the nose when you're, this is when you're aroused. And then putting it on the other finger and blowing out. Bring it up, out. Imagining yourself bringing that energy up and down, you know, from down up through the rest of your body. Those type of things work now for me at 61 years old than at, you know, 25 years old, and I was struggling with that. So I understand the issue and hard thing it is. It's almost like you're overwhelmed and the amount of energy can actually literally burn you out. And that's what we have to be careful of because if you're going to sit there and just play video games, if you're going to sit there and kind of just watch the images on TV, two things are going to happen. One, you're going to be tempted eventually to go ahead and just lose that energy. Two... You're going to be at the point where you're going to get so frustrated that that's the only way you think is a release. And this is what happened to me many times because of stress. The stress will break you down if you don't know how to handle and transmute the energy. This is why it's important to be able to transmute that energy and to use it. So we're talking about not being detected. It's really a, an interesting thing. I, I think it's a very great question that my Chinese friends are asking here. Because the whole idea is you're trying to um, focus on a positive type of thing. But now you're getting these benefits. Like, for instance, I will tell you one of the problems that, I, that occurs is that I have young women in their 20s who are just, uh, it's almost like this nonstop. And in many ways, you know, they're kind of, they, they're sometimes if you don't, watch what you're doing, they're going to get involved in your activities to the point where you can't get things done. <laughs> and so you have to be careful of this. You have to kind of maneuver yourself through your day and really realizing that you need to get things done. And so the bottom line is that they're, it's nice and flattering to me. It's a distraction, but it's time to kind of move on to other things and get things done. That's more important to me in this aspect of my life. Obviously, if you're 25, 30 years old, 20 years old, and you want to find a companion, this is a great thing because you're going to have tons of women who don't understand what it is. I mean, I, I had them staring this morning again, just staring with no reason, just staring. It's almost like they can't see, they don't know what they see in front of them. They see an energy flow. They see an aura that they can't, they can't identify. And that's because it doesn't happen very often. In this society, it's becoming less and less. We're the 1%, as we said. This is why we're titled the 1%. Many people don't have this level of energy and because they don't know how to transmute and how to do it. Napoleon Hill said this in his famous book, Think and Grow Rich. There's a whole chapter on this. You get a chance to look at that one. If you don't know anything else, read that chapter. It talks about the fact that, that men succeed later in life, and what's happened to me, because of the fact that they're able finally to learn how to transmute the energy. So now they're just expending it on women or expending it on pictures or whatever it might be. And so you're really looking at then trying to transmute it. So it becomes an issue. It can become an issue that you have so much attraction and so much uh, energy that it's hard to handle it. And I think this is what he's talking about in trying to actually stop it. The only way you can really stop the energy, I mean, obviously you want the benefits of the energy, the focus, the health, uh, the ability to be able to concentrate better, the ability to have great energy to last the whole day doing all the activities that you need to get done, workplace, all these things. It's like a magnet. Your, your tremendous energy that you're coming in with, that you're drawing things to you all the time. That's a tremendous thing. Now, in moderation, like everything, has to be something in moderation. So you have to kind of look to see, okay, well, how can I funnel this energy and get things done? And like I said, it's much easier now at 61, going on 62 pretty soon, it, than it is back when I was 20 going on at 21. I understand that. 
So that's why I'm kind of doing these videos to kind of give more information and try to give you my perspective at this point. So as you guys get older, you guys can recognize how important it is to continue to keep your energy, but only if you're going to really go ahead and commit to it. Like, like uh, Kelder says, commit to it and be able to be that superhuman person you can be, but you gotta commit to this lifestyle and you gotta commit to be able to say, you know, I'm gonna transmute it and find things to find energy for it. It's a tremendous life, Warriors. It's tremendous to be able to battle on every day and be happy to get up the next morning. I wasn't always that way. But the downside of it, of course, is you're gonna deal with situations that, you know, you got people all around you. Now people, it's amazing to me what's happened to me in the workplace situations, in my personal life, or what people, they just can't keep their hands off of me. They they want to uh, be with me. The animals want to be with me. I have animals chasing me all over the place. You know, uh, they want food, but it's more than just food too. I mean, they just want, they, they see you, they all congregate. I get in a room, I come home, and all of a sudden I get my dogs and the cats all over the place, right, right next to me. They sense the energy. You go to bed, they lay all lay on a bed right next to you. They sense and they want to be around this aura. And so this, my friends, is a key. Now, you can't prevent it, obviously, unless you're releasing all the time and you're dead. You know, basically, that's what you are, walking dead, in my opinion, when you're releasing four or five times a, a week or day. You know, some people do it a day. And the thing is, is that you become a walking zombie. So you can't stop the energy. The energy is what God has given you. Now... You can, because of the goals and things you're accomplishing, you can be less detected. And, and I think my friend is saying he does not want to be noticed as much because of it. And that's a good point you make. I, 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 agree, I agree with you 100%. You want to be able to be active in your life, not have people chasing you around and, and wanting your attention and being you know, with you because that's what they feel. That's what they think. They can't even get their hands off of you sometimes. But the thing is, you have to continue to find those avenues, find strategies to be able to transmute that energy into other things and just do your own thing. And like I said, concentrate on your own thing to the point where you're so wrapped up into your business, you're so wrapped up into your hobbies and your goals, you don't really have time to kind of deal with all these temptations that come around you. And they will be because people want you. You are a high profile now person. And people don't realize this when you get on retention. People know you, and especially if you're a good person and you're not using this for any kind of wrong intentions or immoral intentions or things like that or unethical types of things, people will come to you for business opportunities, romantic opportunities, all these things happen to you now because you are using, God, you are flowing with God. Maybe that's the way I should put this more. As a warrior, you are now flowing with God. You are on the same way. You're, you're flowing with the river of God, not against it. And that was a big difference when you're releasing. When you're releasing, you're not flowing with God. You're flowing with something else. We call that the evil one or satanic type thing. We don't even talk about it. But you're flowing with God. And because you're flowing with God, everything seems like you're joyful, peaceful, you're right in the place where you should be. It took me a long time, Warriors, to get to this point. So I share this with information to you and to my Chinese friend out there. Great question. You know, uh, you don't want to be detected too much to be able to kind of waste your time, but you got to use your time wisely to be able to transmute that energy and use it for good purposes. All right, my friends. Well, thank you, my friend, for that comment. And once again, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. God bless you guys. And remember two things. One, remember that every day is a new day to a great warrior. And I think I've changed it a few times, but that's okay. And number two, remember to battle on!